I actually think it was probably the worst thing <laughs> that happened because I feel rubbish. Um, the uh, the cold that I have is getting worse. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Actually, well, I don't even know when, when you're watching this. It could be evening, so hello. <laughs> um, had a really good night's sleep, so I feel good in that respect. However, I can also feel a cold coming on, so that's no good. But um, I've bowled with a cold before. <laughs> It's not the end of the world. So we've got uh, 12 more games today before the cut um, for the top 24 at the Players' Championship. I'm just just outside of the cut at the moment. Uh, so I need, a, I need a good day today. I just need a good day and then I have 24 games with bonus pins still to go. So plenty of time. But none of that will matter if I don't have a good day today. So, the goal and plan is to stay really mentally sharp um, now that I've had a little bit more rest. I'm hoping that'll be a little easier to do. I definitely felt myself fading a few times last night. So, I'm trying to, to not let that happen again today. Six good games in the morning, six good games in the evening. Dinner will taste great, sleep will be amazing, and then, uh, and then the campaign to win this tournament is well on its way. So, fingers crossed, wish me luck. Let's go inside and do this. The, vi the vice pads are unbelievable. I'm telling you, it's still crazy. How good they pat. I'm I don't know why that last shot didn't hook. All the other ones hooked. Um, it felt pretty good off the hand too, so... Oh, that's super annoying and frustrating. Even just to leave a spare would have been fine. But, um, open the 10th, when you're shooting 290. Oh, it's right, it's right in here. But uh, at, least, uh, at least we started with a good game. Could have been a lot better, but still a good game. Now we make our way down the other end of the center and let's hope they play similar. So I can see the strikes or opens. If I can bowl just one open a game and the rest of the strikes, I'll take it. Uh, that was a much, much better feeling in the 10th when I threw it good and actually saw it shape down lane. So to get that 260, starting with the 250, it's a good couple of games. Still a long way to go, but those two games definitely loosen you up a little. Now, as per usual, try and do it again.
the last few. That pair was hooking considerably more and now we've come to the next pair and it's not hooking nearly as much. I think this transition game, um, if you can find it early, you can probably create a bit of separation from the field. I think a lot of guys are going to start to really feel, which way do I go? For the left, for the right, what ball am I going to use? So if you can figure it out, um, yeah, you can maybe jump a few more spots up the leaderboard. What we're going to try to do is figure it out, and if we can't, we're going to try to just spare everything and, and make some really good shots and just try to mitigate the damage if there's going to be. But it feels pretty tricky right now. tricky and the double on the tenth to save it for 2-0, we mitigated our damage. Um, now, now I don't know what's going on because there just isn't a defined spot where to play on the lane. I think a lot of guys have changed their strategies today and so the lanes are playing considerably different now. They're breaking down a little funny, a little weird. So I think we're going to, again, just try to be smart, be safe, try and make some really good shots, catch a triple somewhere, keep it clean. I think that was a that was a good morning. I mean, that was the plan, the goal, right? Was to come in and whack them this morning, so I didn't feel like I had to catch a lot of pins in the evening. Um, and outside of a few frames here or there, um, it was a pretty overall consistently well bowled day. And the scores definitely show that. So 1,200, no, 1,400, by six games. 1,463, I think, 260 something over. Uh, so that'll propel me into the cut. Uh, still six more games tonight. And based on the way that the lanes are playing and the way that I've kind of described it, you can be close but feel like you're a long way away, your scores can really drop and fluctuate to the fields. So there's no 
it's no time to be complacent. Um, I'm very glad that I was able to put together a big set today, but I'm um, still a long way off off the TV show, still a long way off the leaders. Um, and so and that's going to be my focus now, is to just keep climbing spots every block that I bowl. But, yeah, I think, um, I think overall, I've made a lot of good choices today. I do, I do feel like I split a lot. Like, if it's not in the pocket, I'm feeling like I leave a lot of mess. So I've got to, I've got to get my ball to maybe shape a little differently just to prevent a lot of those messy splits because it's it's the biggest difference I think between the guys at the very top and where I am I, I feel like when the guys are missing a little they're leaving something makeable and I feel like I'm not so I mean today I was lucky I struck like 11 times around the splits <laughs> but you can't bank on 10 11 strikes a game with one open you've got to you've got to try to get that ball to just roll a little differently so you still strike but you're able to change the angle so you're not uh, having to look at a, a red circle around your your number but job done Considering uh, I can feel my head, my nose, and my eyes getting <laughs> progressively worse throughout the day, um, I'm very, very happy. Even more so to bowl to bowl well. Now I've just got to hope it doesn't get any worse than this. And uh, maybe it's a good omen. Maybe because I, I don't feel great, I don't want to throw as many shots. <laughs> so my my body is like forcing itself to strike more to, to prevent me having to throw more shots. Let's hope it does that again. Shot espresso. Yeah, you want that hot? Yes, please. And can I have um, just a couple of sugars in there? Of course, just two sugars in that. What else for you? That's it. Appreciate you. All right, three seventy seventeen at the window. Thank you. Okay, so. A little uh, afternoon rest and uh, I actually think it was probably the worst thing <laughs> that happened because I feel rubbish um, the uh, the cold that I have is getting worse uh, my nose is messed up my head is throbbing and um, <laughs> I want to be in bed but I got six more games to bowl. So, gotta like, suck it up, be a big boy. And uh, get through these six games tonight, bowl great. And, yeah, get myself to bed early tonight. But, um, you know, it's, considering how much I travel and how often I'm here in the US, I very, very rarely get sick, very rarely. So, you know, it's bound to happen eventually. I kind of wish it wasn't uh, during during a major championship, but um, yeah, you can't you can't predict these things. So you just got to uh, make the most of what you got. So get this coffee into me, and uh, oh, some interesting, exciting news. Um, so a couple of years ago, um, I had uh, a documentary crew that were following me around and we're going to do some work for uh, Netflix. Well, hold on one second. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yep, and you have a wonderful day. No worries, you too. Yep, see you next time. Bye-bye. She was uh, happy to be at work. You can definitely, t you can tell she was happy this afternoon. Um, yeah, so a couple of years ago, we, uh, we had a documentary crew come and follow me around a little bit. Well, um, different crew, similar idea, uh, but I believe um, it's happening again. And that video crew is here this afternoon. 
So they're going to start recording. Um, I think they're going to start with me. Um, and there will be a few other players that they intend to follow for the entire season. And the idea is to create um, something a little bit similar to um, Drive to Survive, which was the, the F1 documentary on Netflix. So very exciting for the PBA Tour, very exciting for the players. And uh, I have no idea what to expect from this crew. The last people that recorded me were awesome to work with, super in in invasive worked with me making sure I was comfortable and wasn't in my way and this crew seems to be uh, very much similar to that so anyway that's kind of cool I actually don't even know if that's like been announced so I guess you kind of kind of heard it first but uh, exciting stuff so when we go in there oh well we'll see them <laughs> but <laughs> between cameras me feeling rubbish there's still a job at hand and that's the strike and spare so i gotta walk into that building i gotta switch on when it's time to switch on and i've got to forget about everything else um including this camera right here and uh and have a good night peace all right, so one of the comments that we've been getting quite a lot on my youtube page uh was regarding the white spare ball and what is it is it new actually no it's quite old um, so the very very first Belmo spare ball that we did create uh, was the white color so we went from white to black to gold um, actually there was two versions prior two OG versions there was a white and a black one but it had like an old logo there aren't very many of those I do see them every now and then and um, if they're blank I, I try to get my hands on them and swap them for something or buy them because they are they are rather rare. But the one I'm using here is the white one, which we released uh, a few years ago now. And then there was a black iteration of this. And then uh, the most recent is the gold. I don't think we're making this anytime soon again. But uh, the gold one I was using last season, I uh, didn't get to come home with me. And so uh, I've been practicing with this one a little bit. And felt pretty good so I decided to bring it with me that's why I'm using it on tour this season he game of the tournament but uh, we doubled in the 10th got to 220 and uh, sped everything lane the plane a little bit a little bit tighter down lane so I don't think we're gonna get much more out of that uh, IQ 78U probably gonna change now to either an IQ tour or a hustle rift I don't know yet, I have to make a decision when, right before it's about to turn the ball.
one of those nights, huh? But it is nice to shoot 250, 270 after 170. Still have two games to go and uh, the scores are ridiculously high. I'm trying to stay extremely focused and I'm trying to just not let the other people's scores play into effect with how I'm throwing the ball. Yeah. The good news is I've only sneezed like six times this game. So we're alright. That turned out to be a pretty good night. I mean, I was incredibly focused those last four games. After that 170, fell out of the cut by a few. And um, with the scoring pace as high as it is, there was just no room for error. And, uh, you know, fine 250, 270, 260. I'm actually still a little bit upset I missed that 10 pin in the last game. That was just a complete lapse of concentration. Just tiredness, sinuses are playing up, bothering me. And so I, I wanted to finish that game really strong after that night miss. To get to 230, have a chance for 250 again, I was really, really pleased. That journey did, did the trick. Man, that, that struck a lot more than I thought. But you know the drill, food, and that's what I'm doing now. G'day, thanks for watching. If you loved this one, check out the rest of the videos from this playlist or any other playlist. Make sure that you like the video and please subscribe if you would love to be the first to catch any of the latest of the behind the scenes and a whole lot of other cool stuff.